Okay, let us look at another problem, problem number 4. Okay. You have a weight, heavy weight, usually in order to move a heavy weight, what do we do? We use some rollers, right? we lift it a little bit, insert the rollers, okay. sometimes two rollers are inserted okay. and we push it, so that it is possible for us to move. Okay. So, let us say something like this. Let us say this body, this heavy mass is moving with a velocity when I push it. Okay. Let us say that velocity is given to us as some v. Okay. We want to find out what would be the angular velocity of these rollers. Okay. For now, let us assume that they are rolling and not skidding at all. Okay, they are purely rolling, which means what? I need to find out the angular velocity of this roller. Okay. Let us say the, the diameter of this roller is given to me. So, let me just draw a zoomed picture of this. This is the point of contact with the body. This is the point of contact with the surface. Okay. Now, at this point of contact of the, the, the cylinder and the weight, okay, the velocity should be the same all right. and therefore, I know that the velocity of this is V. All right. What do I need to find out? I need to find out what will be the angular velocity of this. Okay. What do I know about this particular point? I know the point at, at the bottom which is with the ground the velocity is 0. If I take a point on the uh, roller or the cylinder that velocity has also has to be equal to 0. The reason is there is no skidding occurring there. Okay. They are not relatively moving which means that the velocity of this and velocity of that should be the same which means that the velocity of this point let me call this as b velocity of b is equal to 0. Okay. Do I have enough information to solve the problem? Let us see. Diameter is given to me. All right. So, this is the diameter let me call it as d. Okay. If I take the direction it, this is the direction. Can I write V b in terms of V a? The answer is yes. V b is equal to V a. So, let me call this as V a. plus omega cross r b with respect to a. Right? r b with respect to a is d downward direction. Okay. So, if I need to find out this direction it is nothing but this pointing this way. All right. So, this velocity is v along the i direction. v times i plus omega times diameter because that is the length of this times what is the direction of this component? The direction of that component is like this. Okay. Remember is it this way or that way? If omega is like this it has to be counter counterclockwise which means that the point b should be moving in the counterclockwise which is this direction which means positive direction omega times d I am sorry omega times d times i vector. Okay. What do I know about v b? v b is equal to 0 which means I get v plus omega d times i equal 0 implies omega equals v by minus v by d. Or in other words it is having an angular velocity in the clockwise direction equal to v by d, v by d or v by 2 times radius. Okay. That is the answer. So, that is how we solve it. If you notice there are two things that we have taken. One is this point and the other point. The top point we could find out the velocity because 
of the constraint that we applied of pure rolling. Similarly, at the bottom we applied the uh, constraint of pure rolling and got the velocity and the magnitudes of the velocities at top and bottom and that was enough to use in this relationship relative velocity relationship in order to find out angular velocity. Okay. Again the tips that are used here are about the constraints that we apply. Thank you.